Hello students, I hope you all are preparing well for the upcoming CUET exam that is scheduled to be held in March 2024 and also the dates are out that is it is scheduled to be held on March 16th. So not much time is left for the exam and uh, since you all showed so much support in the previous videos, we all saw the comments and on LinkedIn also used you all told that you all are finding the videos very informative. So now we are back with the part 10th of the video that is now we'll be going on with 2023 questions. In the previous videos, we covered 2022 questions and now we'll be going on the questions which are asked in 2023. So I'm Devyan Gupta, your mentor for MSc Food Science and Technology and we'll be going straight away to the questions. So first question is what color symbol is used to identify animal origin food? So why specifically they are asking about color? Because as I told you in the class that color coding is used in industries to prevent cross contamination. So what is cross contamination? That means to prevent the transfer of microorganisms from two different types of food that means if vegetarian food and non-vegetarian food are prepared in the same premises then we need to separate the chopping boards we need to separate the knives and all that are used for their preparation so that is why they are asking which color symbol uh, which color is used to identify animal origin food and apart from that if in case you are having a packaged food then in that case also you have uh, very usually found that they are labeled with a brown colored triangle the animal origin food and the uh, plant origin foods are green colored dot so uh, straight away the answer for this question is brown color then coming on to the next question we have curdling of batter is a common fault during the cake making process so it is asked from your bakery technology and straight away the answer is improper sieving of ingredient because if you not sieve your ingredients properly that means your cluster your agglomerates of your uh, floor may be there inside your batter and that can cause your curdling of your cake after it is baked Then coming on to your next question, it is a match the following type question. So be ready with uh, similar type of questions in your exam. So they are asking about method of drying and concentration and its application. So spray drying, if we talk about, so as I told in spray drying in class, as I told when we were discussing about how the working of a spray dryer. So in that I told that uh, spray dryer in your spray dryer, you, we atomize your liquid particles. So Anything which is having low viscosity, purees and all, they only can be used in spray drying. Apart from that, no uh, highly viscous fluid can be used. So uh, spray drying can be covered in this category. Then freeze drying. Freeze drying is only used for higher quality solid foods. Then coming on to vacuum drying. Vacuum drying is used for heat sensitive foods because in vacuum drying, the evaporation and the drying of food occurs at a lower temperature. So heat sensitive foods that cannot be treated at a higher temperature because of some vitamin loss or some texture loss, they can be treated by using vacuum drying. And next is your fluid as bed drying, which is used for your small side food particles. So in fluid as bed drying, a mat is there and from below you will be passing on your hot air and your particles will be fluid as that means they'll be floating on your mat and then your dehydration action will be occurring. So for this question, your fourth, that means A for the fourth part, then B for the first part, then C for the second part and D for the third part. Fourth is the right answer for this question. Then coming on to next question, we have which enzymatic browning reaction is involved in the browning of citrus juice. So as they have told citrus fruits or citrus juice, that means they will be containing which vitamin? Vitamin C. And what is the name of vitamin C? Ascorbic acid. And that will be causing the oxidation of that. So straight away the answer for this question is ascorbic acid oxidation. Then coming on to the next question we have. We have to match the microbial spoilage in fruits and vegetables with their causative agent. So bacterial soft rot is caused because of Aviana cartovora. Then coming on to your watery soft rot. Watery soft rot is caused because of your sclerotinia. Then coming on to uh, downy mildew, it is caused because of your phytophthora. And then stem and rods, it is caused because of your fusarium. So this comes out as the third, as the right answer for this question if you will match the following correctly. Then coming on to next question, arrange the steps of rice milling process in the correct sequence. We studied uh, the similar question in uh, your test series also. And when we are discussing about cereals and pulses in that section, we discuss rice milling. So if you arrange them correctly, so this first of all, we'll be going for cleaning and hulling. 
and what is hulling and all that I've already covered in class. Then coming on to next, we have polishing, then we have milling, then we have grading and sorting, and then we have packaging. So second is the right answer for this question. That means B, C, D, E, and then A. So this is the right answer. And usually in these types of question, you will find that the initial step will be some sort of cleaning and the final step will be some sort of packaging. So by that also you can very easily determine it off. But uh, you can see that uh, A option is the last option in all of them. So the paper setters are also clever that students can determine by this technique. And uh, your first step that is a cleaning and hulling is also given in two options as the first part. So be very uh, wise when you are choosing the options in your final answers. Then this is uh, one of your assertion reason based question in that is some assertion assertion line will be given off and then uh, supporting to that a reason will be given it off and then you have to tell whether they are correct or the explanation is correct or not. So let's read the assertion first map extends the shelf life of cut red meat. Yes, it is used then carbon dioxide is used in map to maintain the red color of oxymyoglobin in meat. This is not true. It is because of your oxidation. So uh, this reason is wrong, but your assertion is correct. So that means your third part that is A is correct, but R is not correct. Even if in case it had been the right explanation, then you can uh, mark one as the answer. But uh, since reason is not correct, so third is the answer for this question. Then coming on to the next question, which is the last question for this video, we have what does HACCP stands for? And for all the food technology students who have done bachelors, this is, I guess, one of the very basic terms so a very simple question and anyone who is even not very well prepared for the exam can attempt this question is hazard analysis and critical control point that is your third option as the right answer for this question so here we come at the end of the part 10 of our series in which we discuss last year questions this was eight questions from your 2023 paper and then in the following next videos we'll be covering uh, more questions so this was your part 10 for keep connected for your part 11 and subscribe and uh, like to the channels and share it to all your aspirants and friends who are right now uh, preparing for giving CUT exam and if you want a deeper insight in any of the topic you can obviously join our batch and i'll be very happy to clarify all your doubts and apart from that if you have any doubts in any of these questions you can comment down your queries i'll try to answer all your queries so that was all for today's video thank you all and all the best for your exam